as I've been promising for the longest time now, I bring to you the FDL salad gains recipe while wearing the do it for the ice cream shirt. You know, you just gotta, just gotta go with it. So first what I'm gonna do is run you through all the ingredients on what's gonna be in the salad and how we're gonna use them, step by step by step. So first off, we're gonna start with the cold veggies. So we'd like to create a cold, warm contrast with the salad. We have three uh, ingredients that are gonna be cold. So we have our lettuce, we have our spinach, and we have our tomatoes. So why we do the warm cold contrast is we have our cold, which is our leafy greens. When they're warmed up, they shrink. We want volume in a salad. And so we create the warm cold contrast with having the cold ingredients that would usually get soggy when you cook, you cook them, stay cold because they hold their form and then we top them with warm sauteed veggies. So for our warm uh, veggies, we're gonna be using broccoli, green peppers, yellow squash, and zucchini. And then for our special dressing, we're going to be making our cheese sauce dressing for our uh, salad. And so I like to use this great value Alfredo, two slices of fat-free shark cheddar, one of these creamy uh, pepper jack laughing cow. A hefty little squeeze of some great value mustard. And a splash of this fair life fat free milk. What we are gonna do is take our big wok pan. Add zero cow butter spray. Now we're gonna add our broccoli, we're gonna add our green peppers. And I'm gonna show you how we cook our zucchini and squash differently. All of our veggies in there. So what I did is I added uh, 250 grams of frozen broccoli and 300 grams of fresh green peppers. So you can change those amounts. This is the idea that you saute the broccoli and the green peppers and you don't do that with the squash and the zucchini because those will get soggy when sauteed. So you wanna pan fry them. I sliced up all my zucchini and squash, and so now I'm gonna add them to a pan. Here, I'm gonna spray with some nonstick butter spray. Add those to our pan. And so what I season the top of these veggies with is a little bit of this garlic powder, a little bit of this Creole seasoning. This stuff's a game changer. And now, we have this on medium to high heat, and we've let them until the bottoms are nice and seared. Frozen broccoli and green peppers sauteing right now. So now we gotta make that cheese sauce. Take a small saucepan, add two servings, which is 125 grams of the Alfredo, two slices of this cheese, one pepper jack, a uh, pot of this and a good heaping of the mustard and a splash of this milk. All right, so now we've added everything. So now we take it over the burner and put it on high heat and let it bubble until everything is melted. But there's one kicker that I like to do, but I'm not saying you have to do, to put some cayenne pepper in there. And a cayenne pepper in there, and so now we're just gonna put the cover on that and let that come up to a boil. So as you can see, we got our cheese sauce all bubbling up. So now once that's happening, you turn the rear off and then you're gonna mix it around. While our veggies are cooking and everything, we wanna get our cold all chopped up and in the bowl. And I gotta show you exactly how to do that perfectly because there's a technique. We got the bottom of the head. We're gonna cut that little bottom knob off. And then we're gonna slice this in half. So each head of lettuce is about 600 grams what I've noticed. One side of the head of lettuce, and we're gonna slice it a little, going like a little circle. You're gonna add these, we're gonna break them up. Once you've added the 300 grams in, you're gonna add some of your cheese sauce. 
half a ladle full and I'm just gonna spread it around in there. Next up is 50, 50 grams of spinach. So we just added our 50 grams of spinach. Now we're gonna add uh, one of our tomatoes. So I sliced up one of the tomatoes. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of our cheese sauce. Next up is the second head of lettuce, so the other 300 grams. And then we add another layer of our cheese dressing. But this time is gonna be the first time we add a little bit of this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. Now we're about to add our last 50 grams of our spinach, and that's gonna be the rest of the cold veggies we're gonna add in our other tomato, and then we're gonna add the warm veggies on top, and then more dressing. I'll keep you guys in the loop. So here we have the rest of our spinach and those tomatoes on there. We're gonna add a little bit of that cheese sauce more. So once our veggies have sauteed a little bit, they've thawed out, and the broccoli, you can see little brown spots and everything. We wanna turn down the heat from high to medium to low, and not let them get too cooked up. We want that still a little crunch in the salad. So now we're gonna add a little bit of the Creole, a little bit of the garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of sea salt. Now we have our squash. And so look, when you can see, you see how the bottom has got this little golden brown? That's how you know it's done. First we're gonna add our pan-fried zucchini and squash. We're gonna add about half of it and then half of the sauteed broccoli and peppers and then repeat that process. Zucchini and squash, and I slice them in half because there's some big pieces. Now we're gonna add our sauteed broccoli and green peppers, half of them. Those goodies right there. All right, so now we've added about half of those. We're gonna add the rest of the pan-fried zucchini, squash, and then the rest of the broccoli, green peppers, and then we're gonna add the rest of our cheese sauce, and then a little bit more, sprinkle the buffalo sauce, and then we're gonna add a fried runny egg on top. Let's be honest here. Salad games are upon us. Look at that warm, cold contrast. Look at that steam coming off the top. Look at that, it's about to go on top. So here we have the end product, those beautiful salad gains. Look how big that is. So now we add that beautiful finishing touch. That beautiful creature right there. We commence lift off. Salad dressing of the gods. We got the cold lettuce and spinach on the bottom, and then we got the broccoli, green pepper, zucchini, squash on top. That's a big bite, and I got about a hundred more of those to go. So if you're on low macros, salad gains are the way to go. Now go and make some salad gains.